Ladies and gentlemen, there's a good reason why I have this shirt on, this Babies for Benefits shirt, which is an AFC hashtag, because I believe that there are too many people out here who are only having children to get some type of benefits off of them, whether that be something emotionally, spiritually, or whether that be something financial. And most of the time, I mean that as far as financial, because there's no reason for these people to be parents to have custody of children be around children to turn around and do what they do to children let me forewarn you guys the story that i have i'm going to give some details that are really really not going to sit well with your sensibilities and they're going to be very difficult to listen to but i want you guys to remember there is nothing more difficult than what these children actually had to live through rather than just us just listening to their story sharing their story to make sure that we have the incentive the knowledge and the wherewithal to prevent these things from going forward, okay? Now, a 22-year-old woman and a 21-year-old man are accused of first-degree murder and are due in a San Diego courtroom on Monday. They're currently in custody in the San Diego County, California, in, in, uh, in San Diego County, California, accused of killing that baby. Y'all see this baby? Look at how beautiful that baby is. She seems quiet. Beautiful, 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 beautiful baby. This is going to really wreck y'all soul when y'all hear what happened to this baby. Officials said that 911 operators got a call on Wednesday around 11.15 p.m. about an unresponsive infant in a home on the 3300 block of Maple Street in Kalina del Sol. Investigating officers began CPR on the child upon arrival, according to authorities. The three month old, three month old baby, brand new, brand new baby. Three month old was brought into the hospital where she was pronounced dead. Elizabeth Uckman and Brandon Copeland, these two dumb Idiots have been charged with first degree murder in the case and they are both being held with no bond and I agree with that and I'm going to tell y'all with first degree murder that usually means life in prison potentially the ultimate penalty under law could also follow that okay now Uckman the uh, the woman Elizabeth who is currently being held at the, uh, at the Las Colinas detention center uh detention and reentry facility in Santee and Copeland. That's a long ass description. Who was incarcerated at the San Diego Central Jail are both due to appear in court on in downtown San Diego at 1.30 p.m. on Monday. Adrian Arnett, Uckman's grandmother and the infant's great grandmother told the news that the little girl, the little girl's name is Delilah, by the way, just in case if y'all didn't know, that is baby Delilah. Beautiful little princess. Delilah's great aunt was given emergency custody because at birth, social services determined that the parents in their apartment were unfit. The system got that part correct. After cleaning up the place, Delilah was returned to the parents. So they cleaned up their act, got the kid back. God only knows what the baby suffered between the time that they got their hands on her until the time that baby died, according to Arnett. Arnett says she pleaded with the county child welfare services not to return the child to her parents. But they did about a month and a half ago, and it cost this baby her life. Social services was told by every member of the family, every member of the family, that she was dangerous. We knew the boy was dangerous, she added. Next door, uh, next door neighbor Sabrina Camacho said she didn't even know the couple had a baby. She said they never saw them outside and often heard them arguing. I know they've had domestic disputes in the past. At least you could hear it, hear them yelling at each other. Based on the questions from investigating officers, it was appeared that the baby was tortured. The baby was so was seriously injured, and how do you injure an infant baby? They just lay there. You cuddle them. So the baby obviously had pretty serious injuries. 
And it says that anybody who knows anything about this death is asked to call the STPD Homicide Unit at 619-531-2293 or Crime Stoppers at 888-580-8477. Let me give you guys the fair usage. Federal law allows citizens to reproduce, distribute, or exhibit portions of copyrighted motion pictures, videotapes, or video discs under certain circumstances without the authorization of the copyright holder. This is called fair use and is allowed for purposes of criticism, news reporting, teaching, and parody, which doesn't infringe of copyright under 17 U.S.C. 107. I know they're trying to abolish the death penalty. But in stories like this, you just have to ask yourself, like, don't somebody deserve the death penalty? Seems like these people do, in my humble opinion. San Diego police are investigating the death of a baby girl near City Heights. The parents of the three-month-old have been arrested. Investigators say on Wednesday a call was made about an unresponsive child at a home near the intersection of 44th and Maple Street. The girl later died at the hospital. The parents are in their early 20s. They're being charged with her murder. You know, if, if we were ever going to have the ultimate penalty under law, it seems like these two people will qualify for it. But there was absolutely... But you know what? And, and, they, and, and they did... The family did everything that they could to save this kid and said, Hey, look, these people live like crap. They're crap people. And they don't need custody of this kid. This kid is in danger. They took the baby out of their custody and they said, you know what? We're going to give them a chance. They're going to figure it out. And they didn't deserve this. They didn't deserve this baby. I wish the family would have gotten a chance to keep this kid. So this kid could have grown up to become something great. She was robbed of that, that opportunity. And it sucks because I think the family in this case did the right thing. And they spoke out against their own. To baby Delilah, young princess. All right. I don't want him on my screen. All right, P, young princess. All right, P. Thank y'all for listening to her story. And if there are any more updates, we'll definitely give you guys an update here. Okay. Thank you.